MCH mean cell hemoglobin means the weight of hemoglobin in an average RBC of the patient. If, if you think that, let's imagine that this is an RBC and you cut it open that RBC and you take out all the hemoglobin which is present in that RBC and you measure them with a weighing balance. So what is that weight of the hemoglobin present in an average RBC of the patient? That is the indicator for MCH, mean cell hemoglobin. So mean cell hemoglobin is the weight of hemoglobin in an average RBC in the patient. That's why this is measured by picogram, which is an indicator of weight, you understand. Pico means 10 to the power minus 12. So it is usually measured in picogram unit, the MCH. MCHC means mean cell hemoglobin concentration. It basically means the concentration of hemoglobin inside an average RBC. So this is, that was the weight. MC watch was talking about weight of hemoglobin inside, total weight of a hemoglobin inside an average RBC. MCH is talking about the concentration of hemoglobin inside an average RBC of the patient. So that's why this is usually measured by, as it's a concentration by gram by deciliter. That means concentration per unit volume, you understand. And MCH is actually more useful than MCH because MCHC is used to differentiate between hypochromic and normochromic type of anemia. You understand? There's no nothing called hyperchromic because you cannot put excess uh, hemoglobin inside an RBC. But this is useful MCHC because we can denote the hypochromic. If it is a, the MCHC value is less than normal range, if it is normochromic, it is within the normal range. So this is the difference between MC. H and MCHC. MCH means what is the weight, total weight of hemoglobin inside an average RBC. If I cut open that RBC, what will be the actual weight of that expected weight of hemoglobin inside that? MCHC is that in an average RBC, what is the volume, what is the concentration of hemoglobin inside that RBC? So you can think like also balloon also, which I gave you the explanation earlier about the uh, hereditary spherocytosis. If you think that a balloon has air, like a hemoglobin, you think the balloon like a RBC and it has air inside it, hemoglobin. Now if you squeeze the balloon, what would happen? Now there is more air per volume of that balloon, you understand? If you squeeze the balloon with keeping the knot open, not allowing any air to leak out, what would happen? That there will be now higher amount of air per volume area of that balloon, you understand? So that is the, that's why the MCHC increases, that is why the MCHC increases in hereditary spherocytosis by the same concept which I already explained earlier. And we have two other units also which is called uh, MCV. MCV stands for mean cell corpuscular volume or mean cell volume which basically means what is the average volume of an RBC. Uh, that means if I take a patient's average RBC or if I average the RBCs, all the RBCs of the patients, what would be the expected volume or size of an average RBC of the patient? That is MCV. It's typically measured by femtoliter, 10 to the power minus 15 liter. So if this is useful MCV because it helps to discriminate or differentiate anima into uh, microcytic, normocytic and microcytic. Normally its value is 80 to 100 femtoliter. Femto means 10 to the power minus 15 is a very small decimal fraction of the liter. And another unit is there uh, also used in RBC indices that's called RDW, red cell distribution width. Red cell distribution width basically means variation, degree in the variation on the size of the RBC. Let's imagine that there is, this is a patient's peripheral blood smear, another patient's peripheral blood smear. In one patient's peripheral blood smear, you are seeing RBCs are, some RBCs are very little, small, some are very big, this usually means that RDW is higher because there is a much more variation in the size of the RBC. Compared to another patient whose RBCs are more or less similar in size, there is not much variation in their size. So the anisocytosis is less, not much prominent. In that case, the RDW would be normal range, understand. So this is, so RDW, red cell distribution width basically shows you the degree of anisocytosis, degree in the variation of the size. So let me summarize those four things. MCV basically means what is the size of an average RBC in the patient, expected size. MCH means 
what is the amount weight of hemoglobin inside that average rbc of the patient if you cut open that rbc what is and you take out all the hemoglobin if you measure them what will be the total weight of hemoglobin inside that average rbc it is measured by picogram which is a weight because it's a weight actually weight means w e i g h t not w a i d another is mchc mchc is basically means concentration of hemoglobin inside a rbc and rdw means variation in the size of the rbcs so these are the four important things which are there which you need to keep in mind thank you so much